Right, so this is the subject of concern and it's been raging for the last week and a half and so we want to pick the thoughts of Dr. Adam Bona on what exactly the problem seems to be and why as a country we do not seem to be able to deal decisively with it. Uh, Dr. Bona, a very good afternoon to you and uh, best of the season to you as well. Yes, good afternoon and uh, you know, uh, Merry Christmas, uh, late Merry Christmas to you and uh, Happy New Year to yourself and the team and uh, all the multimedia TV3, sorry, uh, Media General yes. uh, viewers, TV3 viewers. Right. Thank you so much. To start with, I mean, I'm sure probably as someone who's also hailing from that part of the country, you may have followed the developments in Boko. Could it be that as a country, we probably may have misdiagnosed what exactly is the Boko conflict and have, you know, proffered wrong solutions in resolving it? Well, I don't think uh, that, we, that there has been any solution to the Boko conflict apart from what I call the security, uh, you know, led solution. We, we seem to be pushing a lot more security, you know, send men there uh, when, you know, the, they, they are fighting or killing one another. They send, you know, the, the state will send men there, drop, uh, you know, military officers, police officers, beef up security, and then after a while when the situation seems to have calmed down, they retreat. Uh, and to me, uh, Boku, the challenge in Boku, uh, we shouldn't look at it from the point of view of using security to, you know, calm nerves and calm the people. No. Uh, and, and I have, I mean, I've been part of this whole, uh, call it, uh, talk about Boku, you know, talking to the indigenous, talking to very important chiefs, talking to the youth commanders there, talking to, you know, both sides, the man process or the Kusasis and the man process, and they are some of their important chiefs. And sometimes when these things are going on, I hardly sleep because then even though I don't have, I'm not an appointee of government, uh, you have all manner of persons, you know, important persons calling, what can be done? Can you speak about it? You have to call this. And so, and the security, some of the security ministers will tell you, we've been having engagements with them. The only thing I can say is that government is not putting its best foot forward when it comes to the conflict in Baku. Government is relaxed when it comes to the issue of Baku. We are, we are not very strategic when it comes to dealing with the conflict in Baku. And so I agree, absolutely agree, with a member of parliament who raised the issue of Let's look at Boko and use the same amount of resource we used uh, in, you know, dealing with Dagon, even though the Dagon conflict is something different. But I think that if we are going to put our best foot forward mm. in dealing with the issue in Boko, just as we, deal, we dealt with it uh, in, in Dagon, we might find some lasting solution uh, to Boko. But at the moment, uh, governments, there are no the resources aren't there. Mm. And you, you know, speak to the, the MCE of Boko, you know, there are, uh, there are a lot of things that can be done without, you know, the state has not been able to do them. Mm. And so probably the commander-in-chief of, 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 you know, this country should put his best foot forward because uh, technically he has two years to go. And, and if he's not able to deal with Boko in this, in, in, in this last two years, mm. I don't know how we would refer to him. If he right. leaves Boko, worse than he met Boko. Right, and, and, and Doc, so maybe you're saying the blueprint for Dagbon may not necessarily work fully for Boku, so we probably need to rejig it or tweak it a bit to see how it resolves the problem. But it raises the question about the indigents themselves, people within Boku, those who may be the reason behind these conflicts. Is it possible that, or, or is it that they are missing the reasoning that almost everybody is talking about, that you need to play a part in resolving the challenges of Boko? Well, they need to play a part in resolving. I, I, I mean, recently, uh, in a conversation with some of their youth leaders and some important, I told them that, you see, uh, when you are killing one another and you call some of us and say, can you call the authorities to bring more men? I said, Ghana, can, we cannot send all our military officers there. We can't send all police officers in Ghana to Boko. Boko is not the only... Uh, you know, community in this country, even though it's a very important segment in this country. I told them, you know, let the, the guns be quiet. If the guns are quiet, 
all manner of, you know, reasoning Ghanaians who come there and see how we can dialogue. But how do you dialogue when you guys are killing one another, killing children, killing people who are not uh, kusasis and they are not mom process? Mm. So you can see uh, the, 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 the conflict has moved from, you know, the, the, the two groups, you know, the two feuding parties, the mom process mm. and the kusasis, and other people are getting killed. So it makes it very, com you know, conflicting and complicated. Me, very confusing. Mm. I have, I have probably suggested that are we seeing some terrorists moving into the Boku area because Boku, you know, borders the Sankasi area to, you know, Burkina Faso, Togo, mm. and the rest. So we need to know uh, what is what is what is going on. Right. Because then the kind of killings we are seeing in Boku doesn't make sense. Kusasis are no longer getting shot as we know. Mampus are, are not no, no longer getting shot as we know. But rather, you have Bosangas, you have Frafras, you have, you know, Bimobas, you have other people who are getting shot and mm. killed. And states, uh, you know, assets like power lines and, you know, fire tenders and the rest are getting destroyed. And so it looks like we need to tweak, like I said, right. um, the, 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 the blueprint for, uh, you know, that one. Let's tweak it a bit and see if that will work in Boku. But at the moment, Boku, okay. I would say, is a no-go area for anybody. Wow. Dr. Adam Bona, thank you so much.